Is the failure the result of uh, a lack of skills on either side? Probably not. It probably has to do with a lot of other things, some um, assumptions, some biases, some maybe negative experiences that haven't been uh, processed or, or just discharged. There are a variety of reasons that um, people do not get along. But for me, the, the beauty of the story is sometimes we invest enormous amounts of energy torturing the people we don't like. And in the process, we torture ourselves. Um, I, I love the saying that um, being angry is like drinking poison and waiting for your enemy to die. Uh, indeed, uh, harsh relations are uh, more costly to the one who bears them than the one who is the object of them, generally. So um, another favorite quote, um, the, the, the observation says that um, if you don't like someone, the way he holds his spoon will make you furious. If you do like him, he can dump his plate in your lap and you don't mind. So the question in my mind is what gets us to that place where we more gladly forgive others, more especially forgive family members? What is it? Is it a skill or is it a quality of character that causes us to forgive family members of their humanness, of their mistakes, of their awkwardness, of whatever it is that requires our uh, compassion? Uh, let, let's um, Let's begin by observing this. Um, Dave Schramm, a good friend and colleague, pointed me to uh, Tom Bradbury and Benjamin Carney's observation about building strong families study. I will read a little more than is, uh, appears on the screen, but you know that in the building strong families study, they, they took 5,103 couples. Just a little side note, how many here have done larger studies than that? <laughs> that's, that's a pretty large study, isn't it, Angela? That's a pretty healthy sized study. They were offered classes on effective communication, problem solving, and parenting skills. They had a very substantial budget and undertook something very ambitious. The first results are in. And according to Carney and Bradbury, the first results from the BSF project were, re were, were released in late May. Fifteen months into the study, there were virtually no measurable differences between couples in the treatment and control groups. Offering couples training in relationship and parenting skills had no discernible effects on how they communicated, their ability to manage disagreements, their rates of intimate partner violence, their ability to parent together, or the involvement of fathers in the lives of their children. Moreover, the programs did not affect whether couples stayed together, lived together, or married. The BSF findings also call into question the basic idea that relationship skills training is a viable route for improving intimate relationships. 